Hi, welcome back to PHP RSS series and in this one we're going to go over the form that we showed you in the last one. Uh, I may actually come back through on some of these videos and do like a uh, series uh, update and for example let's see how I have this laid out uh, part 6 uh, you know, I might do a part 6A or a part 7A or something like that if I have to come back through it. I'm going to try and keep everything in order, but there's some times that I do have to go back over certain things. Like, for example, the cron script that I updated. And you can always find the latest updates by going to uh, the links that you went to to get the, the script to begin with. And uh, I can't leave that wide open for... Uh, just wide based viewing viewing but all of those are under phprocks.com slash free free code so that's where you'll find all of these scripts and what I'm gonna do is as I go back and I find improvements I need to make on certain things I'm gonna also make a text file to upload to that and you can take that text file and just uh, change that to a PHP file now if you're following this uh, tutorial series exactly the way I've laid it out everything should work the way I'm giving it to you but if you make changes in your database like such as the name of the table or one of the field names or you add additional fields and all that you'll have to look over each script individually and make sure that that script is working for exactly what it is you're doing so anyway I'm gonna get into the back end of this real quick and uh, we try not to make this one a, an extremely long video so let's go ahead and open that up and this is the file you're gonna get there are PHP tags on there and there's just a comment that it was created by me and then there's another comment that you're going to in an upcoming video place an include file here that's going to help you secure your site and keep strangers from getting on here uh, you could actually make this an HTML document. There's really no PHP currently in it, but I don't want to do that. I want to keep everything PHP in this so that we're pretty well uh, even across the board. So let's go ahead and get into what this document does. And it's just document type and all that. Uh, that's all the PHP there is. There's actually no PHP currently in there, but there's a placeholder for upcoming PHP that we're going to put in there. And then we go down a little bit further, there's just a title. And then we go down a little further and it's there's a script here, it's a JavaScript script. And there's a function validate form and valid equals true. And basically I'm just taking the field names and saying if the value equals zero, then put out an alert that you need to enter some information in that field. And this goes through for every field except for your uh, bullet fields at the bottom, your, your button fields uh, for cron 1, cron 2, cron 3, cron 4. One of these is selected by default so there's always going to be one selected so it's never going to be empty. You can't empty this uh, unless you modify the file to empty it and if you do that well then you're just going to end up messing up your system anyway. But anyway let's get back to the script. So this validates every field except for the uh, which cron number to use and then we just go down here and that's the end of the script here's the head opening tag and then there's a couple of links at the top uh, the link for view live website is going to take you to the base root of your website and then that way uh, the way we've constructed this is I'm assuming you're going to have a site that's not just this new site and it may just be the new site but we're building everything in a folder called news and if you want that to, uh, to just resolve to the folder called news that we're making so that we can follow all the path conventions of all the scripts and everything, I'll show you how we can uh, make a document as an index document that as soon as someone goes right to the base root of your directory, it will take them right to news. But that's uh, going to be later on as far as little extras you can use. So next thing we do is we get into a table, table size, and a little bit of styling of the table and uh, some titling and uh, then we just go through with our fields and we've got pretty much uh, we've got a form the action is post and the action is post to new feed parse.php now I could have made this all one form but since I've already put it together and everything and there's a parser form and 
this form. We're going to just stick with two forms for now because uh, I don't want to confuse up the situation by changing this thing now. So all this does is this posts all of this information in the form in these text fields and they're pretty much all text fields and uh, or input fields and then you have a text area down below and then you have these five selection boxes for this I mean it's pretty straightforward it's just a regular form and then you got a submit button and uh, the title on that is create this feed you can change that title if you want to that's not going to affect anything and then uh, we close that out so what this form does is it takes all of this posted information uh, for example let's take feed region as one of the pieces of information and then it takes all of this information and it posts it to this form which is newfeedparse.php and so basically we just put all of this posted information into variables right here and then we include our script to connect all.php now if you change the uh, directory structure of your website from what I'm showing you in, in these uh, tutorial lessons you will need to change the location of this connection script to match where it is on your site. Uh, right now this goes to the base root and then it drills down into scripts and then connect all PHP. Uh, okay and then we add the information into the database table uh, by just running a query and the query is uh, takes your connection from your connection strip uh, script and then it inserts into these fields in the field list the field name the field title the field URL the field region etc and uh, it inserts these variables these values into all of these fields and then if it successfully uh, completes that it's just going to echo out uh, operation completed successfully and then there's a click here which is going to take you back to your new feed form where you can at that point uh, either do a new feed or, or go to the base route of your site or whatever but uh, yeah we've already covered how that looks and everything one thing I didn't do is I didn't do the uh, show you the validation on this so if I don't put anything in there and click create feed it's gonna ask me to put the first field that's empty and if I put something in here like just garbage it's going to go to the second field and it's going to say I need the title and and so on all the way down the line so if you leave any fields empty uh, this this keeps you from putting empty records into your database uh, it's just a nice little validation script to have and I think we've pretty much covered the scripting for adding a feed to your website so as we know up here there's two links if you go to view live website I don't have anything on the front of my XAMPP server so it's going to take me to the XAMPP home page or actually this is uh, going to take me to to the base root of news I thought it was going to go to the home page but uh, but yeah that'll, that'll take you to the to the directory of news that's fine I'm I might change that or you can change that you can change this link to anything you want to change it to the main important one here is this feed tester one because uh, before you do anything you want to test your feed as we've already gone through once you've tested your feed and your feed comes out okay and you know that the, the feeds gonna work let's grab this real quick put it back over there so I can show you that uh, once you tested the feed you put that in there and it shows you that your feed is going to work uh, you've just copied it and pasted it into there so it's still in your clipboard more than likely then you just click this enter feed into database and it's going to take you to this form you fill out all your fields in this form and then once your fields are all filled out you just create that feed and it takes you to the parser script that I showed you and then from there you can link back over to this and uh, that's about all on that. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Also, as I make changes along the, along the way, you'll want to be up to date to those. So please subscribe. And also, when you have subscribed, uh, mouse over the subscribe in YouTube. And it's going to tell you, do you want to get email updates? 
And uh, if you're following this while I'm doing it, before I'm completed with it, I would say, yeah, go ahead and get the email updates. Also, check on phprocks.com. I haven't set anything up there uh, for updating or a blog just yet because I've just been really busy trying to crank out this series, and there's a lot of lessons in this series. But if you check on phprocks.com, uh, pretty soon I'll start pasting updates as to what's going on and important information about this series. Thank you very much.